me as a football player, number 72, that's how I'm identified. But me as a father, as a businessman, I think that's my personal outlook on myself. Get some left. Get some left. Get some left. Get some left. That's it, Trent. That's it. That's it. Oh. He is a great father. He's active in their lives. I've seen him go from signing with the Dolphins to next day catching a 6 a.m. flight to be at make it to their basketball tournament the next morning. Didn't never miss the game. So how much he puts into his kids is what I take from him. One, two, three. I think the girls had an excellent practice today. I think they're getting real tight and more controlled on their dribble. Uh, very impressed with their shot making. Yeah, it was it was a good day. From where I'm from, Cahokia, Illinois, East St. Louis, Illinois, is like it, it shaped me in every every aspect of life. So it's a place that's kind of kind of tough, like you know, a bit doggy dog world. We really didn't have. Um, nobody to look up to. Like, we didn't have a mentor growing up, so we just had each other to lean on. I want my community center to be more real life practical than uh, just textbook. For the learning center, I love everything he implemented. People in our hometown don't have hope, so for him to do something like that, you know, means a lot to me. Everybody's just coming there with one common goal, and that's just to, you know, make it a better place. My passion for learning it really just comes from not being so much of a traditional school guy. Just always have been kind of a, a seeker of knowledge. You know, he's a very caring person. He wants to see everybody win. He wants to see everybody succeed. I try to pass along anything that I've ever learned or done to whoever is willing to, to know. Who is T Stead? T Stead is just, just, just me, probably in a in a more open form. You know, you get Teron Armstead, the professional, the businessman. You get T Stead, you know, the social, the bro, the homie, the cousin. First got into music in high school. We had a small little group, rap group, which is always kind of talked about making it out or the come up type 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 music for real. I kinda took a little hiatus from music once I got into the league. You know, coming in as a young player, especially a small school guy, I didn't necessarily think that it was um, acceptable to to have hobbies or or different forms of life. Not even just a hobby. Like, you know, I didn't I didn't know. I thought it was, you know, football, football shut up and play, you know, that, that, that mantra, whatever. Uh, that doesn't fit me at all. I'm not, that, I'm not that type of person. It was a negative stigma for so long for professionals, not just football, all professionals, that shut up and dribble, shut up and play, was such a negative uh, energy around athletes. Now, we have so many different athletes and so many different businesses, music, real estate, um, schools, that like when you retire, you have life after after retirement and I think is extremely important. Definitely love to, to pass any of my experiences on or off the field, any knowledge, any failures, any success. I'm always willing to, to offer that up or ask, answer questions when, whenever I'm asked.